Hi guys, welcome to Piscator UK. Well guys, I'm doing something a little bit different today, in fact, a lot different to what I would usually do. Now, if you guys that follow me know that there was a fish on. Know that I predominantly do sea fishing, either on the shore or from the kayak. But today, I'm on fresh water on a big loch in Scotland and I'm course fishing. Now the reason that I took up course fishing is because it's that time of year, it's autumn, coming into winter and the chances of getting any decent sort of weather windows coinciding with time off is pretty difficult. So I've took up course fishing just to give me another outlet to my fishing and as, to, as I said, today I'm course fishing, fresh water, big body of water and I'm in pursuit of these guys. I've already had one. And this is the second one that I've got. Not the biggest, I'm actually after specimens. But <laughs> quite good I actually got that on camera actually. And I'm after these guys. Lovely wild roach. And I'm actually after specimens as I said. Hopefully up to two pound mark. But these these guys lovely wild fish probably never even been caught before in fact I've probably never even seen a maggot before anyway I'll get this guy in the keep net and I'll come back to you in a second so yeah as I said hopefully targeting some uh, specimen roach today uh, that's like I said that's the second one I've had and probably about the half pound mark in fact that's probably the biggest roach the two of them that I've ever caught I've only just started uh, course fishing as I said uh, and it's purely to give me another outlet to my sea fishing when I can't get the weather windows like today uh, you can't sort of feel it at the moment or hear it on camera because I'm in a sheltered area but it is quite blustery out in the loch today so and I've only got a short session as well so this kind of fishing uh, really lends itself to getting the opportunity to go fishing when maybe the weather's not good enough to go sea fishing and you know that satisfies my fishing needs and also it keeps content on the channel rather than waiting you know a month two months uh, to get a, a weather opportunity to go fishing either on a kayak or on the shore now i'm not going to give up sea fishing by no means it is my passion i just coming into the winter months i just need another outlet that satisfies my fishing needs and that's purely the reason why I started course fishing. So today I'm using uh, feeder setups to target the roach and I'm using a, a mixture of cage feeders and open feeders and I'm fishing, this is 30 grams, this cage feeder and I'm fishing a little helicopter rig which just means that can spin round during the cast prevent tangles probably a 5 inch hook length the size 16 hook the hook bait is live maggot just a couple of live maggots and the ground bait is very simple I'm using probably one third blind mite black roach ground bait and dynamite roach original which is a lot lighter in colour uh, I don't think the colour really matters because I am fishing in pretty deep water in about 30 feet of water 25 to 30 feet of water so the colour of the ground bait doesn't really matter I just thought I would try it and I've probably got about one third black and one third, uh, two thirds original and I've got a little bit of hemp seed mixed through the ground bait and that's it that's all that's in it so if 
you're only using one colour, it would only be the ground bait and the hemp seed. I've got a mixture of some dead maggots and obviously live maggots which I'm using for the hook bait and I'm doing a little bit of dead maggot and live maggot in the cage feeder along with the ground bait purely to add something different you know if the cage feeders in the water for over 10 minutes then the live maggots you know can easily sort of crawl into the silt but the, di the dead maggots will be visible to the roach that are hopefully uh, patrolling about looking for food. I've got a two rod set up uh, I've got a light feeder rod which is up to 45 gram feeder and I've got a heavier rod which is not actually a feeder rod it's just a t 11 foot spinning rod not ideal it's not very sensitive on the tip which you really need but I just wanted to use another line and I'm probably about 20 25 yards away from my main line which is about 60 meters 60 yards out into the deep water and I'm probably about 80 meters on the heavier rod and I'm fishing a 45 gram uh, close feeder on that to start with I fed the line probably about four or five cages full of ground bait and maggot on the same line clipped up to the 60 meter mark and it's very important guys for this kind of fishing that you do clip up and you cast to that clip every time you pick a line of sight in the distance in this case I'm using some uh, boys that's in the water that boats would normally tie up to and I'm aiming for that target every time to build up a substantial amount of bait in that area which will hopefully keep the fish there if they turn up and the same with the second line uh, a little bit further out like I said about 80 meters and I'm consistently casting to that this is only that's two fish I've had in two casts on the 60 meter line and I've not long cast out just before I put the camera on on the 80 meter line but I didn't put any uh, ground bait or maggot down first I'm just purely fishing that line uh, just to see if there's anything a little bit deeper water probably 35 uh, feet of water and we'll just see how it goes but yeah it's been a good start uh, two casts two fish you know the bites haven't been frantic uh, but every bite I've had I've caught and the helicopter rig is a sort of self-hooking rig actually because you're tightening up to the cage, the cage feeder and the, f the fish lifts the bait and it's almost a self-hooking I'm fishing barbless hooks so even though they self-hook they can come off but you know 100% rate in the casting to fish ratio is not too bad let's hope we get the, one of the specimen fishes specimen roach that I'm actually after so I'll just show you what I'm doing for baiting up live white maggot and a red maggot size 16 hook and baiting up the feeder is just easy just, I just plug the bottom, a little bit of ground bait some live maggots a little pinch of dead maggots plug the top This bait really smells lovely, it uh, smells like coriander seed actually. And that's it guys, simply baited up. So the light rod, that's going out to the 60 metre line. Line up your target. To the clip. Sink the line. 
Now that's a good eight or nine seconds count till it hits the bottom. I found what works best is fairly tight line to the the feeder, just a little curve in the rod. Sit back and wait for a bite. Brilliant. That went straight away. As soon as I hit the bottom, that went. And it's just a little guy this time. Hopefully, I'm not going to get plagued by the little ones. I think it's very big. Had a bit of a drop back there. Well, in a tight line, I had a slack line. Another perfect condition, little roach. Another fish on. It's just a half pounder, I think. Stunning fish. Stunning fish. Get this in the keep net. Get cast back out. That's five fish, four casts on the light feeder rod, the 60 metre line. As long as I'm catching fish on this 60 metre line, I'm not too fussed about the longer rod, to be honest, or the longer line. Because if I'm getting bites all the time like this, you know, it will get a bit frantic. I will get a good bag of fish, but I'd rather just take my time, 
cast to where I'm casting properly, be on target, and I'll be happy. I think there's one on, it's not very big though. I've actually uh, switched to the window feeder just now. Just find that it's giving me a little bit more accuracy and <clears throat> I'm not having to force the cast too much with this 30 gram uh, feeder. So that's the reason for the window feeder and I've had my first fish on it already on the first cast. So pretty happy with that. That was another nice roach about the half pound mark. And they're in absolutely pristine condition. Window feeder is really easy to load up. A little bit of maggots, live maggots, and then you just fill the rest up with the, the ground bait and when that hits the bottom the ground bait softens and the maggots start pushing out <clears throat> obviously you lose a little bit less ground bait I'm just going to keep the, uh, the rod in my lap. I've just had a pull back on the line, went really slack. And another fish on. That was a nice bite. Does it feel that big? Maybe similar to the last one. Great fun, all the same. A little bit smaller.
definitely hooked in the lips. This is certainly a better fish. I hope it's not a little jack pike. It feels a bit jacky. That's a nice perch. Stunning perch. Bit of a pound pristine condition
Hey guys, that's the uh, end of my session. And a little course fishing session on a wild loch in Scotland, catching wild roach. Had a nice perch, about a pound, and the majority of the roach was actually about half a pound. I was after much bigger than that, and I think the bigger ones will show up later on in the winter, and I'll probably have another session just like this, using the feeder, cage feeder, or open end feeder, and uh, yeah, hopefully get something a bit decent the next time. Uh, something I can call a PB. In fact, most of them today at half a pound, they're the biggest I've caught uh, so far since I've started course fishing, which wasn't long ago. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video, give a thumbs up and if you want to see more and you like the content, then please consider subscribing. Thanks very much guys, stay tuned.